Well, as you know, last year we, we launched two products in, in asthma. And for us, it was a, a great success and a, a big hit for the company. But uh, we were also exploring the concept of Beyond the Pill. So at that time, we realized that there were some grants from, from Axio, from La Generalitat de Catalunya, and it was a, a grant uh, trying to, to connect a big corporate and a startup. And, uh, and we thought that uh, that grant could fit on this concept of uh, Beyond the Pill. And this is why we tried to, you know, to, to contact uh, Humanity Care to, to, well, to approach uh, this concept. Yeah, and it was a really nice idea for us because uh, at Humanity Care we aim to offer a digital health platform for medical professionals to improve the remote follow-up of chronic patients at home. So we thought that it was a perfect match and also we could explore a new therapeutic area, which is asthma, that uh, we have not worked until now and the expertise of each part, uh, it would be useful to create a value for a new product. Yeah, it's true and, and, and for us what, what was important also was to start this uh, collaboration with a startup, very agile, and, uh, and the idea of, of the project is to develop a solution, a digital solution altogether, the two companies, um, bringing value to the patient, but the healthcare professional and the administration. Um, in the in the asthma indication. I, I would say that the, the starting point from us was to realize that um, having drugs in, in asthma is not enough, it's not sufficient. So we realized that the concept of beyond the pill and, and then we tried to dig on uh, admit needs not related to the drug. And we find out that there were many admit needs not related to the drug but related to the patient itself or the healthcare professional or the daily, you know, the daily day of, of, of the doctor. And I would say that, well, identifying the, these unmet needs uh, probably was the first uh, uh, point of interest of the project. Yes, and, and then from the technological perspective, uh, based on all the unmet needs, uh, what we did is to detail in a very specific way all the requirements of our solution to adapt the existing platform to this new therapeutic area. And also, uh, it's really important to validate, first of all, uh, with all these medical professionals and also with some patients before starting developing it. And once we have the platform, uh, to do a pilot study to, to see the value that we are offering to the administration. It's true, and I completely agree that the validation with doctors and patients is, is a must. So we have many ideas, but we need to, to validate with them for, for sure. I would say that you face many challenges when you start a project from scratch, also in this case. And I would say that most of these challenges could be external, but also internal. So from the external point of view, as you know, we started the project with the COVID, uh, the pandemic of COVID. So for us, it was difficult, you know, to create this relationship between companies uh, with, uh, with the pandemic itself. Also from the external point of view, I would say that another challenge is the regulation. Digital health is quite a new concept, so uh, regulation still needs to, to well, there are many things to do, to do. And, uh, and from the internal side uh, and uh, from the uh, pharmaceutical perspective, I would say that um, from us, uh, changing from product to potentially a service is also a challenge that uh, well, we face in, in, within the company. Yeah, so for us, the, the first challenge was to adapt the solution to this new area for these new uh, patients. Uh, but then, uh, thanks to the collaboration of the both companies, it has been really easy for us. And also, uh, it's really important to create an affordable and easy to use uh, solution, both for the patients and the medical professionals, so it can improve the adherence to the treatment and to these digital tools. And last but not least, to create a unique solution that can be launched at the market. From Humanity Care, we are really happy to collaborate with Gebro and uh, to have made this decision to collaborate with a big corporate uh, because we are creating a unique uh, product for asthma patients and we want to help as much chronic patients as medical professionals as possible. So 
it really fits our aim and we encourage everyone to collaborate with big corporates because it's a really good experience. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the, same, the same feelings for uh, working with a startup. And um, other tips, I would say that um, from our side, starting the project step by step and with a pilot phase, uh, I would say that it's, it's crucial and uh, key to, to success, at least uh, from our perspective because um, convincing our management through, you know, step by step and generating evidence and value, I believe that it's, that it's important. Also, I would say the human factor is, is key, is relevant, so it's about the relationship and, and confidence between both companies and the people that is working and, and the teams. And finally, I would say that patience. You, you know, sometimes uh, startups are very agile and fast, and big corporates probably are less agile. So I would say that this um, patience is also needed and, and uh, I would like to, to highlight this.